This week, we're exploring how our senses can help us experience art. When we look at a piece of artwork, we are, of course, using our sense of sight. We see the colors and shapes, textures and lines. We put these elements together in our brains and we make connections to things in our life. The artwork might remind us of things we have seen or done, places we have visited. It might make us feel different emotions like happy, calm, or sad. We can even imagine sounds and smells that might be present in certain painted scenes. But there are some people who actually do experience multiple senses when they interact with art. They can smell colors or hear textures. When they hear a high-pitched trumpet, they might see the color yellow. These people have what's called synesthesia. Synesthesia is a condition that allows the brain to experience two senses at the same time. One such person is the famous singer-songwriter, Billie Eilish. Here she is explaining a little bit about her experience. It's like, how could I make a song that sounds like the way that this light looks? Like, and that's really weird to think about, but it's more interesting for me that way. Wall, and be like, oh, that could be sick. I did this, or if I wanted to write a song that sounded like the way that, you know, corduroy feels. It's like, that sounds really crazy, but you can hear something that sounds the way that velvet feels. And that kind of just goes around in my brain all the time. Many visual artists are also synesthetes. The artist we will learn about today is Vasily Kandinsky. Born in Moscow, Russia in 1866, Kandinsky grew up playing and listening to music. His parents wanted him to become a lawyer, which he did, but he gave it all up to become an artist after seeing some of Claude Monet's impressionist paintings and attending a symphony in 1896. Kandinsky's synesthesia allowed him to see sound. He saw colors when he heard music, Different notes and different instruments looked like different colors to him. Many of his paintings are named after colors and pieces of music. Here's a list of some more videos about artists and musicians who have synesthesia. The links are listed on your lesson page or in Seesaw, so please check them out after this video is over. You'll be glad you did. Their work is pretty cool. Now it's your turn to create. Begin by choosing a song you really enjoy. Listen to that song. While you're listening, close your eyes and pay attention to what you're thinking about when you hear the music. Do any pictures pop into your head? What does the music make you feel? What colors could you use to represent those feelings? What instruments do you hear? What colors could be used for the different sounds? Think about the beat of the music and the melody. Could different lines or shapes be used to represent the rhythms? Once you've listened to the music with your eyes closed, listen to it again, but this time draw or paint along with it. You can use any art materials you have handy. Take a picture of your work and share it with me. Be sure to include the name of the song you chose when you share your artwork. And have fun. I can't wait to see what you create. <laughs>